Hey guys, what's up? It's Chachi and today I'm really excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my pregnancy favorites. Now these are some products, apps, pillows, like just different things that I have found very useful throughout my pregnancy. So uh, let's just get right into it. <laughs> so the number one thing that I get asked the most is what I've been using on my belly for stretch marks. Um, I haven't gotten any stretch marks yet. So obviously something is working. I use a few different things. I switch like every couple days. The first products that I started using on my belly were the Mamma Mia products. Um, I used their oil and their belly rub, which is this. I left the oil back in the US so I have to order a new one. The belly butter runs at about $35 and the oil is 38 so they're a bit pricey but like I said I haven't gotten any stretch marks so I think it's working <laughs> so I do it morning and night um, I put the oil on first and then the body butter um, and it's just smells really good it smells like clean woman so uh, these have definitely been my favorite and I've only um, ever bought one so a little goes a long way with this stuff um, so worth the price for me and then another product that I've been using I already have really dry skin and pregnancy has made it so much worse I lather myself completely in this um, shea butter from the body shop as soon as I get out of the shower or in the morning I apply this a couple times a day because I just constantly need lotion um, but I also you can also use this for stretch marks so this um, I got the biggest one they had I don't remember the price on this but I think like the six ounce this is a 13 ounce but I think the six ounce one was like $15 so if you want to try it obviously you could start with the smaller one but I like this and it's almost <laughs> out um, and I use this a ton so and I mean my skin has felt really good and yeah so I've been using that on my belly too and the last one um, I haven't used a ton but it is really good for when my skin is really 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 suffering so Yuka and I went on vacation a couple weeks ago and um, my skin just got like super dried out from the sun and tanning and everything so uh, this is the Egyptian magic all-natural cream I think this is about 38 euros this I don't use a ton because it has honey in it and I am not a big fan of honey um, especially the smell now that I'm pregnant I don't know it's just a thing but it is really really amazing and I've used this on my belly and I use this on my belly sometimes and my skin really good moisturizer so um, this is just an all-purpose skin cream so I switch between those products for my belly and yeah it's been working for me I haven't gotten any stretch marks yet so we'll see I'll keep you guys updated on that but those have been my favorite belly products um yeah that's what I've been using <laughs> I ordered the Mamma Mio products off of Amazon and I got a discount on them from Amazon Prime so I think I got like maybe 10 bucks off um and then I just got the body shop stuff from the body shop and then I don't really know how I got a hold of the Egyptian magic I think I got it on a the duty-free on the airplane so I think it's a big product here in Finland um, I don't know Yuka recommended it and it has been pretty magical so yeah uh, that's where I got those on to prenatals <laughs> okay so prenatals were a tricky thing for me in the beginning because I was so sick I mean I've been sick I'm still sick <laughs> but prenatals definitely affected my nausea so when I first went to my OB, she gave me like these sample ones and they were like the one a day capsules or just she gave me a bunch of different ones to try. Um, but the one thing she did stress was like prenatals don't really like you don't have to get the super fancy ones like they all kind of do the same thing. And um, she was like the ones that worked for me were just like the off brand Costco ones. Those are the only ones that didn't make me throw up. I tried a bunch of different ones. Um, I didn't really like the capsules too much. I mean, when I try a vitamin, I like to have a gummy of some sort with some flavor. Um, so there was another one that I tried and for some reason I found that all prenatals were like this lemon flavored, really weird gummy that just made me feel so sick. It was like lemon and raspberry and literally every brand that I found was all lemon. 
And um, even though actual lemons were a big craving of mine, artificial lemon was like terrible for me. So um, I went to Target and I actually found these nature made mixed berry prenatals. These have been my favorite. They taste really good and they didn't make me nauseous. I think these ran at about 20 bucks um, and there's 60 of them in here. And uh, once again, if you get it from Amazon Prime, I think you get like five bucks off or something like that. I've been taking these and I'm not the like, preg like sometimes I would feel bad because I've watched like all these pregnancy videos and like these women who take like all these crazy vitamins and things like that. And I don't, I really just take my prenatals. I make sure I have a balanced diet and um, that's been working for me. My baby is super healthy um, and I just, I guess I just wanted to say that because I think it was very overwhelming for me to feel like I'm not doing everything that I can to take care of my baby, but our bodies already produce so like everything that the baby needs. So I stopped stressing about that and uh, I just take my prenatals and I'm good to go. So I take two of these a day and yeah, these are the ones that work for me. Not that lemon stuff, that was so nasty. I mean, you could take the capsules. I was taking, um, it was the, uh, I ran out of these when I was here in Finland and I took some like, it looked really healthy kind of capsule and they were just, they made me throw up. So. These are the only ones that don't make me puke. Other things make me puke, like life and you know, things. But <laughs> these work for me, so yes. On to apps. In the beginning of my pregnancy, obviously, like this is my first child and I was just like really overwhelmed with not knowing anything about being pregnant. Um, I was the baby in my family, so I didn't get to be around my mom when she was pregnant with my brothers and sisters. So, and none of my friends have babies. So I was really nervous. I, I didn't really know anything. So one app that I've been using that really helped me is called, um, it's called the pregnancy app, but it's called what to expect. And it's uh, just that one right there. Um, and it's this really cute week by week app. So right now I am 27 weeks. I don't know when I'm gonna post this video. If this goes posted next week, then I'm 28 weeks, but right now I'm 27 weeks. Um, and baby is as big as a cabbage. And um, you can click on this and it gives you for that week, like everything that's going on with the baby and you and what month you're on. And then you can also see what's happening inside your body. Um, it's really detailed and really fun and lighthearted and makes you a little less scared. And uh, so little stuff like that, like right now the baby can hear and uh, things like that. So, and then what I also really like about this app is they, uh, oh yeah, and like your common symptoms. So I'm not freaking out about everything that's happening to me. But uh, this is cool because there's also uh, like a community in here where there's discussions and chats. So November baby is my baby's gonna be born November in November. <laughs> so um, anything that I kind of have like a concern about, like diet or stuff, I can just type in the app literally whatever I am thinking about and guarantee there is a mom who is worrying about the same thing and you can open a discussion. Um, I never really chat with anybody, but it's nice to read um, other people's discussions and uh, it's just been really helpful for me and kept me really level-headed. And uh, it's really cool to see every week um, what's happening and, and the size of the baby. So uh, yeah, so right now she is 14 and a half inches. I know she's over two pounds for sure. I have a big baby already. The doctor said that she is growing rather fast and uh, 13 weeks left to go. So the pre this pregnancy app has been my favorite. I've tried other ones like the Pregnancy Plus and uh, it just wasn't really my thing. It was this app um, and it just, oh, it logged me out. I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter. Um, it just wasn't really my thing. I found the other one worked a lot better. Now there are books that you can get. I saw this book, The Mama Natural. It is leaning from what I've seen. I just got this, so I kind of skipped ahead to the week that I'm on. Um, I think it is more leaning towards women who are planning a natural birth. And um, I am going to be getting an epidural. 
So, um, but it also does have a week by week of what's happening in your body. It comes with like cool recipes um, for like smoothies and you know healthy meals to to eat. And um, like this week, it's really good for me to eat sauerkraut, like really highly fermented foods. So this has been really cool. I literally just got this like a week ago. So it has a bunch of like little tips and, and tricks. Um, I'm gonna I'm not gonna say too much about this because I haven't really dove into it a ton. But that app, pregnancy app, was really great for me and this is pretty cool so far. Now on to my saving grace, my body pillow. So I do have back home in LA, um, like the huge big body pregnancy pillows, but obviously I can't take that with me when I'm traveling. So I got this, it kind of looks like a, a comma or a sperm. <laughs> it's from Boppy. And uh, it just like, you basically <laughs> put it between your legs when you're sleeping and your belly rests on it. This is great because I can fit it in my backpack when I travel. So the flight to Finland is really long and flying was really uncomfortable. So this is the main reason that I got that. Um, and also I wanted to have a body pillow for here. And this is perfect. Yuka tries to steal it from me all the time. But uh, yeah, I can scrunch it up in my backpack. I use it on the airplane. And uh, I use it every night when I sleep, when I'm chilling on the couch. This body pillow has been really, really amazing. And it's not really big and excessive and clunky. I don't know the price of this off the top of my head, but I will put it right here. And I got this from Bye Bye Baby uh, when I was doing my baby registry. Uh, so yeah, this has been great for me. Now, I think lastly, clothing. Obviously, I am growing and growing and growing and um, nothing really fits anymore. So the one thing, I kind of feel like I have SpongeBob's closet lately because I kind of just have like the same thing, but di in different colors. <laughs> but these little fitted dresses that I got from H&M, they grow with me. So I have these in about every color that they had. And they've been really great for me because I just pair them with some sneakers and you can dress them up, you can dress them down. Um, and yeah, I have them. It's the one thing that I can wear. So I got like the spaghetti strap ones and then the thicker ones and then like the dress ones. Um, I can put them here. I don't remember the price, but they're from <laughs> they're from H&M. They weren't that expensive. I think they were like $12 to $15. Um, and then, well, let me get one more thing. So for maternity jeans, I went, I didn't buy a lot of maternity clothes because they can get really expensive and sometimes it's not the cutest. So things like the H&M dresses, like anything that can expand with you is great. So just go to like the basic section in Forever 21 or H&M and don't break your bank on maternity clothes. The one thing that I did kind of splurge on was maternity jeans because I can't wear normal jeans. <laughs> I went to a store called Pee in the Pod and they have a bunch of different brands and I've actually worn this jean brand, not maternity before, but it's the brand Paige. And um, I've worn the crap out of these. These are my favorite jeans at the moment. These were about $200 or so, um, but I've definitely got my money's worth out of these. I wear these all the time. Um, I got a few other ones. I got the ones that have like the roll up, but the ones that have like the belly band roll up thing, they don't come with like a button. So these are like normal jeans with the button and the zipper, they just have these elastic things to stretch with you. The other jeans don't have a button or anything. So you just kind of roll them up like tights and they start to sag and they don't really feel secure. So I stopped wearing those um, and I just wear, I just wear these, <laughs> so out of breath. But these have been really great. This is the Verdugo crop jean, and these are a size 25. I was 24, 25. So you get your normal jean size. Um, they just stretch with you. So yeah, um, and yeah. So the last thing, um, and these are really new for me. So I just bought a bunch of new ones. These are, a, it's like a pregnancy tea. And uh, it just supports a healthy pregnancy. It's like a raspberry tea. Um, I read, I don't know if this is a fact, but 
Um, I read that this is better to drink towards the end of your pregnancy, so I'm about to have my third trimester, so this is just preparing my body for labor and, you know, getting me some good stuff. I don't really know a ton. Let's see. So it's raspberry leaf and it's preparing the womb for childbirth. Um, so yeah. I started drinking these and it tastes pretty good. I'm not a big fan of like hot liquids, but I have a ton of anxiety about birth, so I'm trying to do everything that I can mentally to make myself feel a little bit better about it. Um, and it's totally normal to have anxiety. It's okay, we all go through it. I mean, like women who are having a baby, we all go through it at some point. So um, these have been really fun. These are really, really new for me, so I I can't really speak a ton on it, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw those in there. But that's that's really it. Yeah, this was the, sorry, the brand was Traditional Medicinals Organic Pregnancy Tea. Those have really been my favorite pregnancy items that I've just kept up with the whole time. For those of you who are pregnant watching, hopefully you found some relief and um, maybe try out some of these products and love them. If you guys have any products that have worked for you, go ahead and share them with me. I'm always looking for new things and this isn't my last baby, so you know, <laughs> we've got a couple more pregnancies to try stuff out. Yeah, that is all. I'm kind of like all over the place right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big old thumbs up if you did. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, I always say subscribe, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you can keep up with all the stuff that I'm posting. Couple more months until baby girl is here. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you guys. Until next time, bye.